whether it's education, employment, health, housing. Um, I mean, I can go on and on. Latinas always bear the worst. I remember I joined the San Jose Rotary Club more than 10 years ago. At that time, very much white, older, established businessmen. And there were only two Latinas in that club, and they were both older women. I didn't really have any family members or anybody that I could lean on or ask for help. Oftentimes, I am the only Latina. You know, if I'm the only, if I'm the only Latina there, that voice isn't being heard. It is important for us to be noticed in the mainstream because, you know, we're here, we're not going anywhere, we're getting bigger. We are the fastest growing population in the U.S. and this is something that people are really starting now to pay attention to. We have to put ourselves in an environment that maybe are not comfortable for us. Getting out of my comfort zone, I wouldn't be where I am today. And to think that now I represent Comcast in the Silicon Valley, you know, is a really big, um, I mean, it's big. I was, you know, high risk student because of my socioeconomic status, because, you know, I was of a minority background. And if I didn't have a mentor, I probably would not, I definitely would not be on the same path, but who knows what, if I would have graduated from college. To say that without a formal education, you can't be a leader. But when we get our education as Latinas, we develop some strong skills that gives us the opportunity and opens many doors to be able to sit and stand shoulder to shoulder, face to face with policymakers, decision makers, business leaders, political leaders. It's really important for Latinas to feel comfortable in being women. Full women, loud women, smart women, successful women. And to also notice that a Latina leader or a leader isn't just the person that's the most outspoken. But also someone who can at times step back and give other people that same role so that they can develop the skills. It's just very, very powerful to have somebody like that in in a young person's life. We need to make sure we're constantly inviting people over the bridge with us. Women of any age also, young, middle-aged, older women, it's never too late to take an opportunity or to take a risk. Empowering those mentors, those older generations of you know, very wise Latinas to be able to turn around and give back. It's important for us to understand what it really will take to be successful. Don't just try it um, to be a leader and then don't put everything into it. If you're gonna try it, put everything into it. I'm a Latina leader. I am a Latina leader. I'm a Latina leader. I am a Latina leader. And so are you. So own it. <laughs>